Hello everybody and welcome back to Beauty Boot Camp week five. Oh my gosh, oh, I should do one hand. Week five, I cannot believe it's been a five weeks of Beauty Boot Camp. This is amazing, I'm so excited. Again, let me know how you guys are feeling. I'm open to all the feedback. But anyways, today we are getting into eyes and lips and without further ado, we're just gonna jump right into it like we always do. And I'll see y'all right inside. Let me pull my hair back so we can get started. Hey y'all and welcome everyone back to the channel. I, today we will be going over eyes and lips. These are like finishing touches along with everything that we covered when doing the base of our makeup and setting powder. But these can be the factors that really bring the makeup to life. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into it. So for anyone that's just starting with eyeshadows, I always recommend that you start with neutrals. Neutrals leave little room for errors. Those are your browns, your mauves, maybe a little burnt orange, something that just, again, leaves little room for error. So we're gonna jump right in. I'm going to be using a MAC palette. This is the palette I'll be using. It's an oldie but goodie. So today we're gonna be using this palette that has all of these browns, some reds. You get it, it's something simple, but we're gonna be just using, again, neutral colors and maybe a little shimmer. So let's jump right in. First things first, you always wanna make sure you prep your lid. Prepping means putting an eye base or a concealer, something on the lid that the eyeshadow has something to grip to. Just like we did when we did foundation, we do our moisturizers and our primers so that the foundation has something to grip to. It's the same thing with the eyeshadow. This makes sure the eyeshadow stays on for a long period of time. We do not want our eyeshadow creasing throughout the day, so primer it is. I like to use a concealer. This is the same concealer I use for the rest of my face. It works well on my lid. It is also a long lasting full coverage concealer. And that's what I would suggest if you're gonna use a concealer on your eyes. I like the Too Faced Born this way. I also, I use both of these interchangeably in my makeup routine. So today we're gonna be using Too Faced because that's what I used on my face today. I'm gonna open up the product. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. Putting the product on the back of my hand just allows me to have a little bit more control with the movement. So I just like to start here. It also allows me to warm up the product. I'm dipping this brush into my concealer and just making sure the brush is nicely coated. Now I'm just gonna go onto my lid and spread this product out. I just have that concealer all over my lid. Concealer looks like this so far. The eyelid is nice and coated. Now I'm gonna go in with another brush just because that first brush had a little too much product on it and just blend out any fine lines and edges of the concealer. And with this little brush right here, I'm just gonna go in and blend in the concealer into the rest of the eye. And when I'm applying that concealer or your eye base, I'm focusing it on the lid and then just bringing what's extra into the crease. And then I'm making sure I just pull it out towards the edges and making sure it's blended with the rest of my makeup. And you wanna do the same if you have other makeup on already. But since it's the concealer that I use for my face, it's already just blending seamlessly. So this is what we're looking like after the concealer is all blended out. Now we can go in with our first crease color. So my first crease color is actually going to be the bronzer that I use for my face. This allows, again, the whole face to look nice and cohesive. The eyeshadow is gonna bring in colors that's on the face already existing, and this just makes everything look super seamless. My bronzer, I use this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, so I'm just gonna dive in to that with my fluffy brush. In the crease, it's always nice to use a fluffy brush, something that looks like this. And with this color, I'm just going right into the crease. So you can see that there's a little shadow right in there. And again, using your bronzer works because it's just another powder. And I'm just going in windshield wiper motions, just like that. I'm gonna do the same thing to both sides. So windshield wiper motions, and that's just making sure that color is nicely in the crease and just blending that out. So you see where the top of the eyeshadow is, where we just blended that bronzer into the crease and see how it's a little splotchy? We're gonna go in with another blending brush just to make sure that is diffused and blended well into the crease. So with the same brush that we just diffused the concealer out with, I'm gonna go in and diffuse that crease color. So just going right in and just blending out those edges. Again, using windshield wiper motions, but now this brush doesn't have any product on it. So we just get to diffuse that and it just looks nice and seamless. It doesn't look as harsh. We don't want anything to have any harsh lines. 
We want everything to look nice and diffused so no one can tell where it starts and stops. Switching brushes to something a little bit more fluffy just to get in there a little bit better. The flat brush was great, but I just want to make sure again that it's really nicely diffused. So just going in there, diffusing everything. What I'm using is a MAC 224. It was from a holiday kit, so it's a mini. They have these around the holidays, but they always have the 224 brush. And this is a great blending brush along with the 217 brush from MAC as well what the eyeshadow looks like so far again that is just the bronzer in the crease blended out no additional colors our palette i'm just going to go in and select a color for our lid i think i want to use a shimmer so maybe one of these the gold is feeling a little holiday-y so i think i'm going to go with this color right here flat brush that I was using again to diffuse the crease shouldn't have been using this just because the fluffy brush worked better i'm just going to go in to the product with this brush pick up a generous amount of eyeshadow like this. Now we're gonna go in and pop this on the lid. I'm gonna start right in the middle, just like that, and then gradually bringing it in towards the front of the eye. And I'm just putting this on the lid. So it looks like this. And we're gonna do the same thing to both sides. So picking up the shadow, starting in the middle of the lid, and then bringing that towards the front of the eye. And again, just keeping this product on the lid. Color, I'm just gonna put this in the inner corner of the eye so we can open up the eye a little bit more using the same flat brush on the other side of the brush. This is the side we used for the lid. Now I'm gonna turn it around and use the other side. Picking up some product. This should be enough for both eyes, so I'm just gonna dust off the excess here. And I'm just gonna go right into the inner corner of the eye and add a little bit of shadow here. And I'm just gonna bring it up towards the brow. This is gonna allow us to open up the eye with that lighter color. Again, y'all know the drill, same thing, both sides. Inner corner, bring it up higher towards the brow. Make sure both sides look the same. This is what it's looking like so far. Now with that same brush in the same color, not adding any additional product, I'm just going to pull that across the crease. Same thing, both sides. And this is just going to continue to open up the eye and add some depth. Now with our 224 blending brush, you know the drill, we have our blending brush out, we're going to go and diffuse all that product we just added. So we're going to diffuse the front first, just because that's the lighter color. Blend that up and into the crease. And I'm stopping about midway, just because we didn't bring out that color all the way into the whole crease. It's just midway. Now I'm gonna just dust off that excess. It's not a harsh color. Again, we're working with neutral, so everything blends seamlessly. I'm gonna go to the outer corner of the crease and make sure that lid color is blended into the crease. While we wait for our lashes to get tacky, I am going to tackle this lip. We are first gonna go in with a lip liner. This is the Dips lip liner. It's called the No, it's called No Pressure. It is well loved. I'm gonna go in and line my lips, starting with the bottom lip. So I place that liner on the outer part of the lip, bring it in and across to the other side. It's really hard to talk while lining your lips. You actually shouldn't talk because you should be focused on getting your precise lining. But I brought the lip liner from this side of the lip all the way to meet the other side. I like to glide. I like a more gel-like pencil, just making it easier for that pencil to glide across. Then I'm gonna go in on the Cupid's bow. I like to mark that area with a little V, just giving myself direction. And I do like to overline the lip a little bit. So that's what I did when carving out that V of the lip. I just brought it over a little bit. Now I'm gonna pull each side to meet the outer corner of the lip where we started. I'm gonna open up my compact just to make sure we look nice and precise. The way I love a deep brown you would really think i lived my life in the 90s but i didn't and that can never happen but i can bring 90s glam to 2024 and that's what i'm gonna do every single time it's just it's just an era i love it's an iconic time for makeup so this is what the lip liner looks like pro tip if you want your liner to last add a little translucent powder over your lip liner and the lip liner won't budge baby you do not have to touch up all throughout the day i'm not doing that today because i'm just not but pro tip for you
I'm then gonna go in with my lipstick. This is Viva Glancia. You can use whatever lip you'd like. This is a nude. And I'm putting that right in the middle of my lips, like that, and then I'm gonna blot. Blotting the lips just allows you to spread that lipstick around without adding too much product on the lip. And it also allows the lipstick to meet the lip liner, giving it a nice diffuse look. And that's what we have here. If it's not diffused to your liking, you can always go in with a brush just to make sure you diffuse those lines. I'll show you how I do that with this brush. So just pat and diffuse the product into the lip. This is what it looks like. Mm, mm, mm. It's giving. But one more thing, y'all. <laughs> we love gloss around here. So this is a MAC lip gloss as well. Can y'all tell I'm a MAC girl? I'm a MAC girl. And I'm just putting that lip gloss right in the center of the lips, blotting again. And yeah, y'all, this is the lip. Also, this is the color Very Go Lightly. She's cute. I'm obsessed. Okay, y'all, what do we think? This is the look with the lash. It definitely adds a little bit more of a glam factor. Actually, a little lot of bit more of a glam factor. These lashes are most certainly giving drama. Like, you don't know her. But you do, and now you know how to do it. I hope y'all love this look. Again, leave your questions, comments, concerns in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video with a friend if you found it helpful. Put this in your group chat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see y'all next week. Of course, Tuesdays at 10 a.m. Thinking about adding another day on YouTube, maybe like a vlog or a monthly vlog but again let me know what y'all think let me know if you're interested in knowing more about my life makeup modeling being a makeup artist becoming those things all the things i'm down i'm open i'm open i want to know what y'all want to hear and what y'all want to see so again let me know i'll see y'all next week bye